Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for tuning in. For today's video, we will not be partying. They're having a party downstairs. So sorry for the background noise. For today's video, we will be doing this look right here with the Daydreamer kit from Nude Sticks x Hillary Duff. I am a big fan of both of them. So I was excited to get my hands on this and create the super simple, easy, out the door look that you can even achieve during quarantine. So if you wanna find out how I did this look, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, keep on watching. All right, change of scenery from my first video. I use natural lighting in my beauty room. This time we're in my bedroom. You can totally see the reflection on my, um, my closet door but that's okay you're here for this gown right here and also another disclaimer sorry if you hear any background noise we're all at home we're all in quarantine everybody's home right now so you might hear things here and there anyway that those are my only disclaimers for the day but we're gonna go ahead and get to it so again we have this kit right here i'll talk about it right now so the kit comes it's sorry if it's loud because they're in tin cans. If you don't know, all the products that you purchase from Nude Sticks come in this, like, a tin can. Um, I'm very indifferent about the tin cans. By the way, this pouch is so cute. Definitely will reuse for different situations. I have been a huge fan of Nude Sticks for a really long time. I really like their products because of how simple they are, how easy to use, and how efficient they are. Like, quickly you can use your hands and walk out the door uh, so i use a lot of this when i actually had to go into work and i have a few friends who are nurses and are working in essential business so thank you guys so 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 much if you are one of those and you're watching this right now we appreciate you and i just want to spread the good I don't want to say news because this is not new. <laughs> I just want to share the good product with you guys because I do have a few friends who are nurses and do work in those essential businesses, grocery stores, Starbucks is still open, in and outs are still open, and these people do go into work and they still like to get ready. So these are products I suggest. So for the product that comes in this kit, let me take it all out. Comes with three eye pencils, a lip color or cheek color that's the nice things about these products is you can intertwine or use them i'm not so sure about the magnetic eye pencils because they're specific colors unless you want green as blush you do you and it comes with a blush and it comes with a highlight and i was saying about these tin cans it's nice because each tin can comes with a mirror on the bottom so I'm going to try sticking with those mirrors. If not, I have my good old big mirror. Again, I've already opened these products, but I have not used them. So it's my first time using them. Super excited. To start off my face, I will be priming my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is new to me. I've known about it, but I've never tried it. So we're going to put it on right now. Interesting. I don't think Nude Sticks has a primer. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't because I follow them and I'm constantly like seeing out what they have. So I doubt they have one. I don't even know how much I'm supposed to put of this. There we go. See it? It's like that. I'm not going to put too much. Next up for complexion, this is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover. I have clearly have used this a lot already. I really do enjoy this. I wouldn't say it is the most coverage, but if you just want something, a light layer to kind of make it all even one tone, I do suggest this. And the shade I have is Nude 5. So majority is that product. And since I want something with a little bit more coverage, as you can see, I have a little bit of like blemishes around my face. I'm nothing too bad, but they're dark enough to where this formula won't fully cover that. I'm going in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm literally out. Let's see what comes out here. Oh, we got a pump. Literally put not even a full pump. I pumped twice, but because not much came out the first time. So how I apply this, I mix it first with my finger. And then I just almost perfect shade. Now, I will say... With one and done, um, if you use this alone, I totally can just apply it with my hands and then be on with it. 
but since I'm mixing two of them and it has a little bit more coverage with the NARS foundation, I then use a brush. This is why I don't like wearing earrings when I'm putting on foundation because it gets all over them because I go on my ears. Also, these earrings are, and this necklace, this thicker one, um, are both from Miranda Fry. And then this one, it is vintage. It's actually my mom's from like before I was born. Um, yeah. <laughs> In case you guys are interested. All right, so we have our complexion down. Next up is our concealer. Now I do have the concealer from Nude Sticks. I really do like this, but when I am literally just like trying to cover up very lightly, very naturally, very long lasting, covers just enough, but I want something a little bit more coverage, so I'm not gonna use this one today, but I just wanted to throw this out here because most of this tutorial is Nude Sticks. So, for concealer, using my handy dandy trusted Radiant Creamy from NARS. This is like my favorite concealer in the whole wide world. Such a staple. My nose right here, Beauty Blender. I believe that shade I applied was Canel. I'm keeping it as that. I could add more to cover a little bit more of my darkness and here, but I don't want to add too much. I need water. Isn't this such a cute cut? To set my under eye, forehead, and basically my T-zone. This is the Hourglass Translucent, Translucent Veil. And I just like to go in with a damp beauty blender to push in any excess powder and really set in the skin. And another reason is to notice how I only set in my T-zone and right here. And I didn't put anything where I'm gonna put, for example, the blush or the highlight because I don't wanna layer cream over powder. So just making sure whatever excess powder is kind of like left a little damp. All right, we're done with the base of my complexion. Next up is eyebrows. I purchased the new Sephora brow pencil and the gel before we actually get on with the kit. Now, I can't talk when I'm doing my eyebrows, but we're gonna go ahead and speed right through it. I couldn't stop her. She doesn't care. So <laughs> we're gonna have music playing in the background. Okay, so we put my brows on. It is so stressful when they clearly need to be done. It's so hard to do my eyebrows. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is choose an eye color. So this one right here is called Bright Eyes. The middle is gonna be Night Dweller. And then the next one is going to be Prism. All super pretty. I think I'm actually going to do the, which one was that one? Bright Eyes. And then maybe in the center, put a little bit of the Night Dweller. What is it? I mean, Prism, sorry. So again, the beauty of these is you can use your fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye. The other thing about these is you don't really need a base. These work as a base on their own. So even if you didn't wanna use this one, uh, you wanted to add on to this one, this is a great starter for you to put other shadow on. And they dry pretty nicely, they're not tacky, so things won't get like splotchy over it because they dry pretty nicely and it does not crease. That is so pretty. This is a great daily shadow stick. I just kind of follow the crease, draw that in. Actually, I wanna add a little bit more. See how I didn't need, <laughs> I got scared for a second. I'm like, did I use the right one? You don't really need like a crease shade because even with your finger, this goes on so beautifully and seamlessly. 
and you can blend up over your crease and kind of diffuse it out a little bit. Okay, I changed my mind. I think I do want to use the Night Dweller on right on my lash line. So just using that on my lash line. I do want to use a pencil brush for this, so I'm just going to use that to move it around a little bit, smudge it. And just how I do my little cat eye liner technique. I just realized I've never did a video on that. I'm on YouTube. I did a TikTok video on it. I do have a TikTok, Michelle Jessica underscore, where I do this little technique. Again, I can make a video on this on how to apply um, on how to apply a eye pencil eyeliner and make it perfect every time by just smudging it out. And the way I like to do my liner is more like diffused and smudged out. Just like a little flick, nothing crazy. Right underneath my bottom lash line and smudging that out a little bit. Oh my God, my mom's literally playing the ultimate Sunday morning cleaning playlist. If you're Mexican you know, or Hispanic, <laughs> you know. That, see how subtle? See how easy and simple, but like very, like you can totally wear this out. So again, remember I changed my mind. I use bright eyes all over my eyelid and then Midnight Dweller as my liner and underneath. The more you add on, the more opaque the color will get. It's a very nice buildable product. I've noticed with every single Nude 6 product I've used thus far, if you keep adding more, it'll be more vibrant, more opaque. And this is very beginner friendly, or if, or if you just want like a touch of color, a little goes a long way, or you can build it up to be even that much better. For mascara, just gonna finish off the eyes. This is the L'Oreal, no name on it, just black tube, that's it. All right, and now for my favorite part, we have the blush. So her shade name is called Body Language, and it is, oops, wrong side. By the way, it comes with a brush on one end and the stick blush on the other. I personally just use my finger. Go ahead and apply directly, or you can just grab it with your finger first. See how natural and like, it looks so beautiful and luminous. Oh, this is why I love nude sticks. May or may not add more, but we shall see. All right, and then highlight. This is the Nudies Glow and the shade name is called Half Moon. So for highlighter, I usually don't apply directly on my skin, especially because it's cream. So I just grab it with my finger. And just add it on. Oh, girl. That looks beautiful. Oh, that's so good. Bring a little bit up here. And whatever's left over on my finger, I'll put it on right here on my brow bone. And if you don't have any left over on your finger, literally just tap the, I was about to call it concealer, just tap the highlighter. And there you go, very subtle. That looks so good. And like I said, I'm insane. So let's add more blush. I just naturally always wear a lot of blush. That's the kind of person I am. You could have just left it at how I did, but since I wanna go there, I'm going to go there and add more blush. Oh, so pretty. All right, so last product in this kit, this is the lip product. This is called Secret Keeper. That is such a pretty, pretty, pretty lip color. Like for every day by itself, beautiful. And imagine putting like a lip liner on a little bit darker. Cause the finish of this is glossy, but it's not thick. What is this called? Their gel color lip, it's a bomb. 
Um, I wouldn't use this on my, cause it's called a lip and cheek balm. Wouldn't use this on my cheeks because again, I'm a little bit more oily and these are more matte. So they will dry down. Like they won't feel sticky. Like that stickiness is already going away, but this will definitely stay like that. But that is such a pretty lip shade. You're seeing up close all my, <laughs> my texture, but that is so pretty. Look at the glow. All right, and that was all the contents of this Daydreamer kit. I am a huge fan already of everything. I can't wait to use this all over my eyes, Night Dweller. And we didn't use, which one was it? Prism, super pretty. I feel like this would look so good all over your eyelid as well for a cute spring look. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Michelle Jessica because I definitely plan on playing around and doing more looks with this because this is so pretty. I've always loved Nude Six and their products and everything seems so consistent. I already knew I was gonna like their products because I have been using them, but definitely gonna use these and implement them in more, like more and more into my makeup routine because it's not like eyeshadow and putting down a base. This is easy, use my fingers, done, out the door. So if you have not tried Nude 6, I definitely recommend that if you're looking for a routine that is similar to that and you know, part of your lifestyle where you just kind of need to like, and get out. Definitely recommend Nude Sticks. But yeah, this is the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I keep looking at myself. Sorry, I'm <laughs> looking at the camera, but I'm really liking this whole like highlight and blushy cheek situation. I didn't do my hair for this video because I'm actually about to film a hair tutorial and post it on Paul Mitchell TikTok. If you don't know, I run all socials for Paul Mitchell, including their TikTok. So all the brands that they own that are under them, I run those. So yeah, that is what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and post that TikTok. Go ahead and follow Paul Mitchell so you can see how I do the curl waves on myself. That's why we're hairless <laughs> in this video. If you like this video and you're gonna try nude sticks, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more beauty, fashion, and other fun stuff. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and keep on keeping on. We're all in this together. Thank you for visiting my channel. Have a good day, bye.